So we made it all the way to the revolutionary lightweight ham radio antenna, also known as the Faraday fabric antenna. Where in the hell did this come from, this idea? Well, it was obviously born from the duct tape antenna. Right. Like, duh. <laughs> Ooh. So, um, hey, Carlos, you need to fly one of these. The, the thing is, is that one. there's... Um, I was, you know, I made the duct tape antenna and it's all a copper foil in it. And I figured out about how long is it going to last in my pocket? It's going to, you fold it and unfold it. Copper is going to like work harden and break. Right. Mm -hmm. And it, it'll last about a month in your pocket, but I wanted something that you could carry around. And like, you know, it was super useful. Like it is duct tape and you can do it cheap enough, but you don't want to be rebuilding it. And while I was, uh, you know, kind of just thinking about how to work on this, I saw a Faraday fabric come in for ground plane antennas from Mike. Uh, we talked about it before. I can't remember the uh, VBR. The yeah. Yeah. And uh, so he KB9 was using VB, Faraday. KB9 VBR. Yeah. KB, yeah. Like you said. And, and so um, <laughs> he was, he ended up using Faraday fabric. And I thought, oh my God, I wonder if the Faraday fabric, if I can sew it up. No, I I can also sew fairly well. I did like search and rescue, and I know. I saw that. We saw you. I, I was watching your video. You operating that sewing machine. Let me tell you something. In another life, you're making suits and you're doing hems. I'm telling you, you're very good. You're very, well, very good at, as a sewer. I, I, I really saw that. That that was one of the many things that impressed me about you. Not only can you take an idea. But you follow it right through the end of okay. This is going to be version one. We're going to make a. We're going to yeah. be, and, and 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 I think probably halfway through this, I can picture your mind saying, "You already got versions two and three already, but let's just finish one first. Well, yeah, no, wait, absolutely. The, and the problem I generally have is even like with special effects, and even when I was doing engineering, um, like I've I've actually got four world records under my belt with human powered vehicles that I've designed. And the problem I had right, was is that I designed up. <laughs> What's that? I said, all right, Colin Fursey. Yeah. And thank you, Ryan. <laughs> another, I'm sorry. Another seems, massive seems inventor. Sure. Sorry about that. I'm, I'm, but, and, and Ryan, thank you. Seems sure. That's the word I was thinking of. Thank you, Ryan. The problem I have is I design things that I'll go to a manufacturer and go, I need this made. And they go, well, they that can't be done. And it's like, no, okay, here, hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> so, that includes me learning Just how watch. to sew and weld and do everything, right? Mm -hmm. and that that helps you understand how things are made which then you know moves forward anyways back to the antenna i wanted something that would that would work and i while i was looking for the faraday fabric i found out that there's faraday tape and suddenly i'm like oh my god there it is so i ordered the stuff literally the next day i had some ribbon i was sewing it down onto some like um tarp material that i had and then i thought well this is going to be too wide and i was using really wide tape and I didn't realize that because of the properties of the Faraday cloth, um, it's capacitively coupled fibers. And there is some back end, there's some really cool back end physics that are going on where the um, impedance and the capacitance don't work the same as the usual stuff. Now, because of that, you don't need a super wide uh, width to get a flat, uh, to get a really low. Um, sorry, let me try this again. To get an SWR curve that's really flat across the band, you don't need that anymore. So once I narrowed it down, I realized that I could just use some like inch and a half ribbon and sew it on this uh, 10 millimeter or was it 0.3 inch uh, uh, Faraday cloth. And my like after I figured out some of the math with the capacitive coupling and the inductance, then the regular Faraday uh, calculators don't work with what I'm building. Right. You have to make it a little longer and the feed point changes. But once you do it, it makes a spectacular antenna. Like there's a friend of mine yesterday we were talking and he reached out uh, what we, with the so this is not with this antenna, but with the um, the flag antenna. He did a hundred kilometer shot to a Ooh. repeater and we were talking back and forth. Wow. So wow. that's 60 mile. Wow. That's and crazy. That has a little bit to do with the because the Faraday cloth has some special properties in it. Now, how much power so, can you run into that? I know I seen you with the HC. This is where it gets on really fire. cool. <laughs> no, this is this is. I was thinking like I'm gonna melt this stuff, right? We right. jammed 50 watts digital through it for like you know five minutes. Didn't even it didn't even change temperature. The BNC got hot, not the the fabric. 
Wow. So what's happening is, is because it's fabric and air can flow through it, it cools itself off. It just, hmm. it, it doesn't mean anything. No, I haven't done any 100 watt tests, but I'd be willing to bet that it can handle 100 easy. I don't know anything past that, but I will be doing some testing here in the future. And once I get my advanced license, then got to start, you know, throwing some power through it and let's see if we can make it melt. Because I was thinking yeah. when I was watching your video, I'm thinking, if you wanted to play around on two meter sideband, instead of hanging mm -hmm. it vertically, just hang it horizontally or as a you know, slope, whatever, and play yeah. around with two meter sideband. Now that you said 50 watts, 100 watts, you know, 100 watts on two meter sideband, depending on your environmental conditions, is amazing. Mm -hmm. Well, well hopefully, hopefully, um, Carlos, live and terminal velocity, he does those uh, where he jumps out of airplanes. He and got he his does contacts. Two days ago. Nice. He got his two days ago. Nice. Yeah. So I yeah. look forward to seeing that in action. Yeah. That well, would be cool to the, have this. Here's another funny thing. It's that yesterday when my friend was testing this, he's he's like, what? Um, I'm thinking, what did we measure it out to? It was about 35 kilometers to this one repeater. And he's talking to it with an HT at five watts. And he had it like five feet off the ground. And it fell down, and I didn't realize this, and he got a little static and I'm like, oh, the wind must be picking up or something's going on. But, like, you know, your signal's bad. And he's <laughs> laughing, and he couldn't it tell me what's that. going on. And I'm like, what? And he's like, it's crumpled up at my feet. It's still <laughs> reaching the repeater. <laughs> so have you tried to, like, do a game uh, calculation on it to see what, you know, what, I, what kind of performance you're getting out of it? I, I or that is just awesome. To, I, I want to, but... I'll tell you something, not working for a year can be really hard on the pocketbooks. So right oh, now yeah. I've got, I've got, I've got something that I know is marketable. So I'm like, you know, I'm jumping up and down like a 12 year old kid going, look at me trying to get everybody to buy it. And <laughs> it, it worked today. Um, I, I had 50 to go and they, they went in a couple hours. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah I, was, I just pulled this up and I, I was, I was going to show this tonight. I was like, Oh, by the way, it's on, Never mind. Because it sold out, I, I got the email, and probably within yeah. fifteen or twenty minutes of, of me getting the email, um, <laughs> they were gone. Take I that, the radio point oh and MRD. Coming, we sold the out coming. before the show even started. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Brett. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I will say, sign up for his email, and you can mm -hmm. get there. Um, I'm sure Steve's already got the link in there somewhere, but go, just sign up for the email. I'm sure these are all handmade. Correct me if I'm wrong. They're all handmade. So just give him a, a few minutes or, or a few days and he'll have some more stock up, but I would love to see more of these out in the wild. Cause I just think they're fantastic. 